Hello everybody, welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco guys. I'm Vicky, if you're new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. So guys, today we are in the Florida Keys, Marathon, Florida to be exact. We're going to do a little bit of a scavenger hunt to see if we find anything that's similar to a Marshalls. I think there's a Bell's outlet. So we're going to check out Bell's to see if there's any Halloween finds. There's also a really cool event going on. It's called uh, Brew BQ, and it is like a barbecue, an amateur barbecue contest. So there's a whole bunch of uh, vendors, and um, it looks like a good time. So first, we're going to start off our day with a little Starbucks here in Marathon. If you didn't know, they open a brand new Starbucks. It is like the official midpoint before you reach the Starbucks in the Florida, like the actual Key West. But this is like a brand new Starbucks and I'm, I love it here. So we're going to go grab some Starbucks and then we're going to head on over to, I think it's Bell's. Let's find out. Okay guys, so we just picked up Starbucks. I did have to mention something to you. The pricing at this Starbucks is a lot more than a regular Starbucks that you would find like in Kendall, whatever. This one is very, very pricey. Um, what I would usually spend, I don't know, like maybe $25, $30 on here, it's usually like $45. So it's very, very, very pricey. Um, and they made it very clear from the very beginning. I don't know if it's because it takes so much to get those shipments over here, um, but it's pricier. So just keep that in mind when you come, you're going to see a little bit of a, a price difference from what you're used to paying. Um, anyways, so we're done here. Let's head on over to Bells. I like these little true religion denim purses. Love this. We have spotted our first sightings of Halloween here at Bells outlet let's see what they have okay so they have these little gnome throw pillows with this image in the back they have some pumpkins trick or treat let's get you a better side of this trick or treat so you can put it on the wall it looks like that we have some little light pieces we have some signs let's see over here beware happy halloween oh look at that one good spot aloha this one's a little mini one. Ooh, i'll check those out now they have a bunch best witches let's get spooky <laughs> Oh, how cool. Then over on this side, they have some more. They have some pumpkin uh, wreaths, some fall wreaths, some Halloween wreaths, some little witches. Yeah, you can try that. Then they have this throw pillow. It is a whole bunch of puppies dressed up. The little pumpkin one. Thank you, mommy. There's another one back here. Hold on. A little haunted house. Oh my gosh, they're all falling. Hi, hi, hi. Let's see, there's more. Hocus Pocus. I'm kind of through with this. <laughs> Look at these. They have some little puppy skeletons and kitten skeletons. $9.99. That is so cute. I love this. I love that. Look, here they have more, Aloha. I love it. Look, they have some pumpkins here. They have little skeleton little plants. They have another little skeleton right down there. And look at these. Okay, there's gotta be more. Let's keep hunting for Halloween. They have a little pumpkin, little kitty. Look at the little guy back there. So cute. Yeah, so cute. Now we are in the 
like the um, the plates and the tableware and all that they have this little skeleton this complete skeleton and they have these mugs with a ghost spider the little poison sign and a pumpkin they have more down here they have cute things here we have another halloween section okay let's see they have some little um, kitchen towel sets, more wreaths. Look, that one has pink in it. They have some spiders. Oh, they have more Halloween there. Yeah, we play. Look at this little Halloween tree. <laughs> They do and they have this one that says boo another one that says boo and this one i don't know what this is it's a skeleton but what is it supposed to be a runner it's a table runner and it has a skeleton on one side and then happy halloween on the other how cute that one is so cute look and they're playing around with the pastels. Trick or treat. Also playing around with the pastels. Spooky with the black and white. Beware. Mom, this <laughs> they have a lot. Okay, so we just spotted these crystal embellished cowboy boots for the girls. I really like them. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. They're pointy toed. Oh, so cool. Guys, so we're here at the brew BQ. We can already smell the barbecue. They have uh, an amateur barbecue cooking contest, I believe. And then there's like little stores over on the other side. There's music playing. This is in Marathon, Florida, and it's for the weekend. So let's check out what they have in store. So as you can see, it's $5 general admission and kids with a paying adult 12 years and under are free. So the girls are free and it's $5 for me and my husband. Enjoy. I love your outfits. They're so cute. Thank you. That's so cool. So we paid for tickets. So this is our first spot, the Battle Rig Barbecue. They have these items on the menu. And it looks really good because there's a super long line. So I think this is gonna be our first to stop. Okay, so there's this barbecue stand. That barbecue stand I'm gonna show you right now. And then there's different barbecues and drink stands. There's like a live band playing. And then over on that side, there's a whole bunch of little kiosks with um, like little, like there were little stores. So we're gonna check that out too. And then they have big tents where you can sit down and eat your meals. There are some like loaded fries over there. I don't know if it's with pork or brisket. I wanna get that so bad, it sounds so good. They also have a lemonade stand. We're going to do, I think the pulled chicken, the brisket and the mac and cheese from here. And then I will take you guys to that stand right there. So we got our food, but now we're gonna get some lemonade. They have acai bowls over here. Oh my gosh, so delicious, let's see. Okay, so this is another stand, Joe the Smoking Pig. Let me get a picture of the menu. Okay, so we are approaching the little stores, the little kiosks. 
There's a whole bunch of cool things. Everything from clothes, like little art pieces, hats. Let's see, let's see what we find. Look how cool. Look at that, how pretty. We have some prints over here. Stickers. I love it. The dress, and then here, this is like a little puppy stand. Look how cool. They have little puppy clothes, little puppy hats, and leashes. Isn't that so cute? Let's see. Mama, these are all the puppies. They have, be careful, be careful. They have bow ties and stickers. Mom, can I get stickers? Look at how cool. Mom, can I get stickers? No, mommy. And they have more shirts over here. <laughs> And then here we have another stand and it's dresses. This is how cool. We have like two piece dresses. Are they all one side? They have really pretty things here. So you can see in the pen, the spines are in there, and my necklace, like everything has the actual spines in it. And that way, all the reasons also are on the back of each one of why we have to get rid of the lionfish, because it's a very invasive species. So we don't want them here. They're supposed to be in Southeast Asia, and they came here for a variety of different reasons, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Okay guys, so I just got home. I wanna show you guys everything I picked up at Bell's Outlet. I ended up going to the Dollar Tree right before we jumped over to the Brew BQ. Brew BQ. So I picked up a couple of things, but I wanna share it with you guys there because these are all um, like school supplies slash craft supplies. So it has nothing to do with Halloween. Anyways, let's jump into a little mini haul of what we purchased. Okay, so first item I picked up at Bell's Outlet were these little crystal embellished cowboy boots for the girls. They gave me like total witchy vibes, but they're also super, super cute, like for like a little cowboy themed or cowgirl, cowgirl themed outfit or event. These were so cute. These were $21.99 and it's from the company Link. Um, I just thought they were the cutest thing. They're very shimmery, very sparkly. Total vibe, if you ask me. So I picked these up. That's the first thing I picked up from Bells. In the kids section, they have clothes. This is They have clothes, they have toys, they have um, shoes. It's like a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx home goods type thing. It's just much smaller scale. They do have really beautiful items. Some of the prettiest dresses I've worn, people have been like, oh my God, where'd you get that dress? And I've worn like Levi's dresses and stuff like that, and I found them there. So they have a beautiful selection. It's not, um, it's not common for people to be like, oh, I'm gonna go to Bell's. I usually hear I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. This is like a lower scale Marshalls. Um, like it doesn't have the amount of stuff that they have. Anyways, I picked up this little 12 Mez of Christmas because Coco loves this little egg. It's like a Sanrio character. She loves him. So I got that for Coco. And then I got this for both of the girls ready to, uh, ready to go bedtime. Uh, a guide to healthy good night rituals. So this is basically how I'm going to transition back to a regular bedtime routine. Summers is always a little bit crazy. Um, you kind of give your kids a little bit of leeway, but this is to transition back to normal. Up next, I picked up these pleather shorts for, um, for my girls. They were $9.99, they're little pleather shorts. I thought they were really good for like autumn or Christmas time if we have like a, like a Christmas time activity. Um, the inside is lined, so you don't have that pleather touching your skin. Um, but this is definitely great for like maybe a pumpkin patch or something where it's a little bit windier outside, a little bit cooler outside. I just thought they were so cute. So just like TJ Maxx and Home Goods uh, and Marshalls, they have little graphic tees. So I picked this one up for Aloha. It was $5.99. It's just a little Hello Kitty shirt with the little sleeves. Super simple, but it's really, really pretty. 
Okay, so this piece that I'm about to show you guys was $9.74 and it's uh, by No Commitment Girls, New York, LA. Anyways, it really gave off bar Barbie vibes and Aloha really gravitated towards it. However, it is that distressed look, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna I don't know how long she's gonna want to wear this piece or how many places I'll let her wear this piece to number one is boiling hot in Miami but it's really really distressed so maybe if I did like a cute little distressed denim with like the little fringe towards the bottom but she really really loved it and the reason she loved it was pink and little poodles it looks like the Barbie dog up next I spotted these super super pretty umbrellas by Laura Ashley. These were $5.99, you guys. Super, super, super inexpensive. And the designs are so pretty. It's like these little French, I'm not gonna open it all, but it's like these little, it's like baby pink striped with these little dogs with a little, with a little uh, bow around the neck and little French shirts. I'm gonna open it a little bit more, but not too much towards bad luck. So that's, isn't that cute? So this is one of them. Like thicker stripes and the same little puppies along the bottom. So now I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Very few items, but worth sharing. They have these super cute little faux fur hair clips. Hair clips are like a huge thing now. They had it in this light brown and this white. It gives This one gives me Christmas vibes. This one gives me Thanksgiving vibes. It's just, it's really pretty and it's super delicate. Thought it would uh, it would be nice for the girls. Next up, I picked up this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it gives me Reptar vibes. Doesn't that look like Reptar from the Rugrats? So I'll probably do a craft with this. Not quite certain what it'll be, but a craft is definitely underway. I also picked up a bag full of crafts. It's like ribbon. Um, I mean, it's not worth sharing right now because in, I wanna share it with you guys in our craft, like all the crafts that I'm planning, but it's like just a whole bunch of ribbons and like moss and things like that. Anyways, the last item that I picked up at the Dollar Tree that I have to show you and you desperately need to pick up are these beautiful activity paint tray um, containers. So it's a little box like this, your, your papers here, and then it brings little, um, kind of like little dips where you can put different paints, whether it be acrylic paint or watercolor or whatever, and then it has a space for the brush right here. So you can take this on the go, you can you know have this in your child's art room. They had a bunch of colors. I picked up the pink and the purple, but it is just so incredible for $1.25. If you're an art teacher, this is amazing if you're an art teacher. And the last item I'm gonna show you is from the Ruby Q. Um, I went, they had a whole bunch of little kiosks and stands, little vendors. So I'm going to show you the two items I picked up. It's two dresses. Um, it's, it's a shame because I really wanted to showcase to you guys the stand, but the owner didn't want me to film in it. But I picked up these super cute, super cute bohemian, like they're like baby doll dresses. They're super short, but I love them so much for cruising. It's the detail for me. It's like super pretty. It has like sparkle. I picked it up in baby pink. And this is my favorite. I picked it up in the baby blue. It's really pretty. It looks really pretty on, very delicate. Um, I have to take it to dry clean because it picked up a lot of the smell of the smoke of the barbecue and stuff. So I have to, but it's so cute. So that's basically it. That's everything I picked up. I didn't get any Halloween items because truthfully nothing spoke to me. And in previous videos, I've told you guys, unless I fall madly in love with it and it's something that I can use like multi-purpose for different themes, chances are I'm not gonna fall in love with it. I know so many of you guys out there who feel the same that in order to pick up a Halloween item, it has to be something extremely special, which is why I go on the hunt during Halloween so often because it has to be something that speaks out to me. Um, but yeah, I really am glad that I went to um, Bell's. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't stopped by, maybe give it a shot. There's a lot of items that I've never seen any place else there, so it's worth a try. Anyways, don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, and um, I will see you guys in our next video. If you haven't already, check out the Ruby Q. It's a great option if you're gonna be in the marathon area this weekend. It'll be super nice for you to stop by and just have a good time with the family. Until next time.